Hilton House was completed in 1883 for the Rothschild family and became an unwanted asset on the death of Alfred Charles de Rothschild in January 1918. The house was purchased by the Air Ministry in the April of that year and has been the home of Royal Air Force officers ever since. As you can see from the front of the house, it is very much period built on a French design. The porte cochère allowed horse-drawn carriages and later cars to deposit visitors undercover in inclement weather. The house and gardens extend back into a wooded area, where there is a gravel walkway leading down to a small water fountain. The house is set up in all its splendor by a magnificent pillared entrance area. This boasts three different approaches to the main door. The entrance hallway is adorned with wood paneling and opens up into the delights of the salon. The salon is an astounding room. It has a high dome ceiling with a French design gilt chandelier. As you can see, the room is carpeted throughout. The room leads up to a fabulous ornate staircase that splits left and right to the upper floor. The walls are adorned with resplendent plaster ornamentation. This room has featured in Evita, The World Is Not Enough, Pride and Prejudice, EastEnders, Holby City, and many other film and television programs. Star of many films, the Grand Staircase is of a solid metal ornate design with many features within. It was designed and imported from France, so has a very European look to it. The large mirror on the first landing reflects light where the two stairs meet and gives an even light down to the base of the staircase. The red room was originally named because of its color, though it has many gold features. It has been redecorated by several film companies to suit their needs and has featured in Judge John Deed, The Final Days of Margaret Thatcher, The Queen and many other films. With its valuable rolled gold ceiling, the gold room complements a Moorish Middle Eastern style. A very high set mirror and ornate fireplace dominate this room. Filming for The World Is Not Enough death-defying acts and pride and prejudice has taken place here. The Blue Room is very open and well-lit with good features and a very distinguished fireplace and surround. It is believed to have come from Le Petit Trianon, Queen Marie Antoinette's exquisite chateau within the grounds of Versailles. Most recently, a lion was seen walking from this room in the feature film Flyboys. The south drawing room is a spacious asset with three large windows leading to a small balcony. It is frequently used as a bedroom or a stateroom and features in the films The Queen, death-defying acts, and the Duchess. The panelled room was originally the billiards room in Alfred's day. It is very spacious and features three high bay windows. The wood carvings complement the overall look of the room. been used 
as a bedroom in the Duchess and thus defying acts. The house has a lead-covered tiled roof with a viewing tower. It is possible to see north, west and east Buckinghamshire countryside. The features within the structure include some very old-fashioned round windows where the servant quarters used to be housed. The gardens and patio have featured in several films, including the final scene in The Queen. The bar area is normally out of bounds to film crews, although it has been used occasionally in television dramas. The games room features one of the oldest billiard tables in the country and has featured in programs such as Judge John Deed. Many production companies have already used Holton House. The recent release of Death Defying Acts, starring Catherine Zeta Jones and Guy Pierce, relied on this location heavily. Come on, you mustache Pete! What do you think? Do people choose the night to do strange things, or is it the dark that makes them act funny? The night, Harry. Of course. You can do things you wouldn't normally do. Ask all kinds of questions. Not the ones you never asked last night. Foxtrot! Oh, lovely enough. Like men friends? Fathers? Mr. McGarvey, has he never asked? Maybe I didn't want to know the answers. Waste of time, all three of them. Seen him this crazy since his mother died. That's not crazy, Mr. Sugarman. That's love. This selection of still photographs shows some of the productions shot here at Halton. The First World War grass runway, used for training by the Royal Flying Corps, has featured in Spooks, Foils War and the feature film Fly Boys. Three original hangars, dating back to 1920, along with a large hard standing area, complement the authenticity of the airfield. This Art Deco style building was built in the 1920s. This is a working building and still operates as a cinema with the original seats and screen in place. The stage area is too small for any performance to take place. It is, however, an ideal location for viewing the daily rushes. The barrack blocks and parade ground date back to the 1920s and they are of the dormitory design. The windows have not been modernized and the features within are very much as they were from build. There is an unused mess hall dating back to the 1920s, which is available for filming with all its original features in place. It often appears in the television series Hotel Babylon and was used by Holby City for an episode. At Royal Air Force Halton, there are many military men and women of all ages who are sometimes willing to act as film extras. They have been used by many companies, both film and TV, in the production of episodes and feature films.